In the Kingdom of Fiori, a learning institution under the Magic Council the Great Academy of Magic. On the huge testing field, a black-haired boy stood on top of it, and a lot of students watching the excitement stood scattered below. Changing Clothes The young man in Hay roared, stretched out his hands, and pumped up the meager magic power in his body with all his strength, but unfortunately, no matter how hard he tried, he just couldn't store it. Summoned from a different space weapon. And this summoning has been going on for more than half an hour. Ha ha ha. I'll just say it. How could this idiot Ackle succeed? That's right. It's a shame that he is still the Dean's disciple. He can't even complete a dress-up magic until now. It's really embarrassing for the Dean and his old man. In my opinion, trash like this should be directly expelled from the Academy. It's like discrediting our Academy here. Seeing that the young man was still unable to summon his magic weapon, the Academies watching the excitement below all burst into laughter, and all kinds of sarcasm and contempt were heard incessantly. The young man bit his lips tightly, staring at his hands in a daze, as if feeling pained by his own incompetence, finally, the young man raised his head again, and the little magic power left in his whole body all the poured into his hands, and he roared in a hoarse voice, Change! Just as the young man finished speaking, there was a slight fluctuation in the air, and then a slender magic sword appeared in the young man's hands in a flash. Hey! Seeing this, the young man finally let out a heavy breath, thinking happily, this time he finally succeeded. TCH so what if you get lucky? If you fight to the death with this level of dressing speed, you might be killed before you even have time to take out your weapon. See below after being taken aback for a moment, the lively students immediately continued to taunt. Haha, <laughs> that's right. It takes more than half an hour to change clothes, so how can you fight? Could it be that you wear weapons on your body every day? A student sneered with disdain. That's right. Everyone, don't forget that his success rate of dressing magic is less than 20%. A college with a sharp mouth and monkey cheeks taunted harshly. Ha 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 hearing this, everyone couldn't help but burst out laughing. The young man who was a little excited about his success in the costume change, suddenly felt as if a pot of cold water had been poured on his head when he heard the words, and his heart became bitter again. Yes, my magic for changing costumes is indeed only 20%. Unbelievable success rate. The black-haired boy's full name is Ackle Augertins. He is 12 years old this year. He is an ordinary student in the Great Magic Academy. It's his magical prowess it's just awful. The occupation Ackle learned was the magic swordsman among the mages, that is, the mage who used the magic of changing clothes. It's just that his talent is really bad. As we all know, dress-up magic is not too advanced magic and it doesn't require much advanced talent to learn it. Generally, as long as you study it seriously, you can basically practice it successfully. Although the higher the talent, the higher the speed of changing clothes after learning to change magic, the speed of changing clothes at the proficient place is even more staggering. But even those with low talent and unskilledness will change gear very slowly, but that is compared to those with super fast speed. If you really want to calculate, in fact, it is not too slow. But like Ackle, it took more than half an hour to change clothes, but it has never happened before. Strictly speaking, the word slow can no longer be used to describe this. This thing is simply TMD turtle speed. Do not. It should be said that the tortoise is faster than him. After all. Half an hour is enough time for a turtle to run very far and that's not to mention, the most blood vomiting part of Ackle's dress up magic Ishi's dress up magic has a success rate of less than 20%. I have to say, this is really too cheating. Withdrawing the magic long sword into his alien space, Ackle walked down from the testing platform in a state of despair, his legs were still swaying as he walked. All the magic power, with his head bowed he walked without saying a word, listening to the laughter from the crowd behind him, he couldn't help but clenched his hands tightly, and his nails dug deep into the flesh. Don't be discouraged, Ackle. 
A figure flashed beside him, and a young man with a small black cut and several scars on his left face appeared beside Akal, patting him on the shoulder and comforting him in a low voice, as long as you work hard, you will become stronger in the future. You don't need to comfort me anymore, Dolan Barut. Hearing this, Akir smiled wryly, and sighed, I know my own qualifications. There was indescribable bitterness in the words. Maybe. Looking up at the slightly dark sky, Akal seemed to mutter to himself, I shouldn't have become a mage. After finishing speaking, he ignored Dolan Barut, turned around and walked towards his own residence. Akil. Dolan Barut opened his mouth as if he wanted to say something, but was interrupted by a pair of hands behind him. Looking back, I saw a man in white glasses with long side hair and ponytail who was about his age pressing his shoulders. When he saw Dolan Barut looking at him, he shook his head slightly and explained softly, just leave him alone. Alas hearing this, Dolan Barut had no choice but to give up his plan to follow. The name of this man in white clothes and glasses is Rahal, and like Doran Ballot, he is one of the few friends who can talk to Akal in this big magic academy, there is no way, because Akir's magical talent is really bad, so the students in the academy basically despise him, so they don't want to be friends with him, and Dolan Barut and Rahal have been with Akir since they were young. They grew up, so the relationship between the three of them is naturally very good. It can even be said that Dolan Barut and Rahal are Akal's only two good friends. Walking all the way back to his residence in silence, looking at the wooden door in front of him, Akal dared not go in for a while, but after hesitating for a while, he gently pushed open the wooden door in front of him. Creak with a soft sound, the wooden door was slowly opened, and Akal walked into the house lightly. I'm back. As soon as I walked into the room, a gentle but slightly hoarse voice came from my ears. Looking up, I saw an old man with snow-white long hair leaning halfway on the bed by the window. At the head of the bed, the old face was looking at him kindly at this moment, with a sickly paleness on his face. Grandpa. Looking at the old man's kind face, Akir couldn't help but lowered his head guiltily, not daring to look into the old man's eyes. Come here. Seeing Akil like this, the old man doesn't know why. However, he did not show a trace of reproach, but waved his hand to let Akil come to his bed, gently stroked Akil's little head, and the old man smiled lovingly, as long as you work hard in the future, it will be fine. There is no need to be so depressed, Grandpa believes that you will definitely become a great mage in the future. Hearing this, Akil lowered his head again guiltily. He knew that Grandpa was just comforting himself, because Grandpa had said this sentence to him many times. Alas! As if he knew that his consolation hadn't had the slightest effect, the old man sighed slightly and didn't say anything more. After all, he couldn't help with this kind of thing. The old man's full name is Albert Ogdeens, and he is the current dean of this great magic academy. The old man had no children all his life, and Akal was naturally not his own grandson, but the only survivor he rescued from a group of bandits who were massacring the village during a trip ten years ago. Albert saw that there were no other survivors in the village where Akal originally lived, and after several inquiries, he learned that Akal had no relatives in this world, and thought that he was also alone, so he decided to adopt him, and adopted the young Akal as his grandson and disciple. Named Akal Augertins. In fact, for the magical talent of Akal, his grandson and disciple, Albert felt helpless besides regretting it. To put it a little harshly, Akal doesn't have the talent to become a mage at all. Although Akal can use dress-up magic, what is the difference between his dress-up magic and no magic? Thinking of this, Albert couldn't help feeling a deep sigh in his heart. The days continue to live like this. Apart from practicing his dress-up magic desperately every day, Akal just listens to his grandfather's teachings. The days are very monotonous. On the contrary, Dolan Barut and Rahal would often visit him, and would force him out to play from time to time. In their words, practicing magic must also pay attention to the combination of work and rest. If you just practice hard by yourself, it will not have much effect. 
but God is always so changeable and ruthless, this kind of life has only passed for more than a month, and a bad news comes suddenly. Dean Albert of the Great Magic Academy, who had been ill for a long time, passed away. Undoubtedly, this incident dealt a huge blow to Ackle. When he saw his grandfather who loved him so much lying quietly on the white coffin, never opening his eyes, Akil felt like he ran out like crazy. Akil Dolan Barut and Rahal naturally followed after seeing this situation. They were afraid that Akil, who had been hit hard, would do something stupid when he was temporarily insane. It's no wonder that the two of them think so, it's because they clearly know the important position that Dean Albert holds in Akil's heart. However, the two of them still underestimated the degree of madness of Akil. Under the extremely sad situation, Akil broke out with speed and strength far exceeding ordinary people. Even with the help of Dolan Barut's teleportation magic, he was quickly lost under Akil's irrational rush. There is no way, one is because Doran Barut's teleportation magic is not very proficient after all, two is bringing a person, Rahal, with him and the third is because Ackles' running route is completely irregular kin follow. Following these three disadvantages is inevitable. But even though they were lost, the two of them were still searching earnestly based on some scattered answers from passers-by, trying to find Ackles' trace again. When the two of them were searching hard, the sky was unseasonably heavy with rain. The so-called bad weather probably refers to the current situation. However, Dolan Barut and Rahal did not give up their search because of this, because Akil is their best friend after all. It's out of concern about the situation of their friends, and they will never give up looking for them easily. On the other hand, Akil, who was extremely sad, was running crazily along an unknown river at this time. The heavy rain had already soaked his clothes, but he didn't seem to notice it at all. In general, they are still running wildly regardless. You're lying. You're lying. Grandpa, Grandpa, he the clear liquid that couldn't tell whether it was rain or tears kept falling from the corners of his eyes while he was running, and Ackle roared in pain, impossible just this is how you left me. Ah suddenly his feet slipped, and Ackle screamed instinctively, and then his body fell to the side uncontrollably. Plop Ackle fell into the rapids of the river, and the icy water instantly submerged his figure. He himself was slightly sobered up by the stimulation of the icy water, but he didn't instead of struggling, he allowed himself to be submerged by the rushing river. After his grandfather died, he had nothing to love, and he thought to himself mockingly, perhaps a waste like me should die like this. I'm sorry, Doran Ballot, Rahal, in the next life, let's continue to be friends. Ackles' consciousness became more and more blurred, and in the end, it turned into complete darkness. At the same time, in a certain apartment on the earth, a certain house is sitting by the computer and staring at the Zanpakuto illustration book on the screen. Looking at the various Zanpaku knives, a few drops of saliva flow out of the corner of his mouth. Alas, it would be great if I could time travel. Looking at the popular fanfiction books introduced in the corner of the Chinese website, a certain house couldn't help laughing wretchedly, Hmm. If only I could time travel to death god the world of couldn't be better he he he, then I will decisively and without hesitation put your Yuaki, Daimurai, Renju, Orium, Nilu, and Haribal wait, wait, all the beauties will be overthrown. When the time comes, we will sleep together quack 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 quack. Thinking about it, there seemed to be such a live scene in front of my eyes, and my saliva couldn't help but overflow again, even the keyboard was wet. His name is Chen Wuming, he is 20 years old this year, he is a standard nerd and a veteran death fan. The great love for God of Death has almost reached an inextricable level. Except for Shinigami, he doesn't read any other manga. He doesn't care about other things such as national affairs. Of course, even if you want to take care of yourself, you are not qualified among the Grim Reapers, apart from those eye-catching beauties those Zanpakutos are naturally the most attractive to him. Especially those Zanpakuto of the captain level, all of them are handsome I thought it would be great if I had one too. Take it out to pull the wind? But other than dreaming, 
it can only be thought about in his heart. Although there are many toys and Pakuto imitated according to its style, he is not brain dead enough to buy one to play with. If the time goes back more than ten years, it is still possible it's not because of his resentment, but because of those model seats so up. TMD is simply a toy for children to play house. Thinking of this, Chen Wuming couldn't help feeling a burst of resentment in his heart, thinking that you unscrupulous manufacturers effing knives look like they're going to die? Chrysanthemum will not be exploded as for making it like a baby educational toy? In other words, spending a little more cost and TMD won't be impotent. It's really unscrupulous. Alas, people of my generation, when will we be able to truly time travel? He sighed, picked up a bottle of Urquatu on the computer desk, and poured it down, I have done some time travel experiments in the described clips, such as being struck by lightning, connected to high voltage electricity, getting into a car accident, bicycle, and committing suicide by masturbating, what, and so on as a result, it turned out that the matter of time travel is really cheating. Especially the way of time travel described in those novels is the BAA dad among the TMD cheaters. So far, he hasn't had a successful example, nonsense, on the contrary, he almost killed his own life a few times. If there is such a thing as time travel in the world, if time travel is really everywhere, then just let me just drink like this and choke to death. Chen Yuming couldn't help laughing at himself, facts have proved that this is impossible. So such a thing as time travel is impossible. After finishing speaking, he continued to raise the bottle and poured it into his stomach. With Urkiwatu. Gilogilohe. While drinking heavily, the mobile phone placed on the computer desk suddenly vibrated, UU reading www. UUGonshu.com Chen Wuming's eyes slanted, and while continuing to drink heavily, he reached for the mobile phone on the table, but it turned out to be a cup the chair under his buttocks suddenly lost its center of gravity, and Chen Wuming fell head first to the ground. This is not the worst. Worst of all he choked on the drink. Cough 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 fell to the ground, Chen Wuming grabbed his throat and coughed desperately, alcohol is a strong thing. Generally, even if you can drink a lot, you must avoid drinking too much at one time. Otherwise, like Chen Wuming, he would be easily choked. But Chen Wuming was clearly choked this time, his face flushed like a pig's liver. The most terrible thing is now he seems to be clogged by alcohol, so he can't breathe. Before losing consciousness, Chen Wuming's only thought was, I depend on it. Really choked to death from drinking? By the time someone found out what was going on here, Chen Wuming had already passed away hence, Chen Wuming was furious. He successfully provided a negative typical case to the masses of famous people. It has also been specially included in textbooks by education departments around the world, and it is used to warn those who like to drink all the time this guy is a fool. Let's never learn from him. You said, if Chen Wuming had a spirit in the sky, would he say brother is also a famous person in embarrassment? After all, although his life sounds a little embarrassing, in a sense, he is indeed a figure recorded in history. And it's a general history of the world, although it's just a negative textbook however, is everything really over? Is Chen Wuming just such a miserable burp? The answer who knows, p.s., let's open the book again and play with others. Oh. It's getting worse and worse in this world now. Standing under the eaves of a shop, looking at the continuous pouring rain in the sky, a man in black couldn't help but sigh slightly. Okay, don't sigh here. A burly man in a black robe next to him patted the former's shoulder and comforted him with a smile, as long as that thing is built, then we can do whatever you want in this magical world. Ha 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 ha, I'm afraid it's no longer a dream to rule the world. As he spoke, the man's eyes shot out with extreme fanaticism, and he couldn't help but burst out laughing, immediately attracted the different eyes of some pedestrians around. Yes, as long as. Hearing this, the eyes of the black cropped man from before couldn't help showing a look of fascination, which was also mixed with a trace of longing, the construction of that thing is completed. Okay, 
the rain is already a lot lighter, let's hurry up and complete the tasks assigned by the higher-ups. Looking up at the sky, seeing that the rain has been a lot lighter, he suggested with a smile, after all, want to it still needs a lot of labor to successfully build that thing. That's right. The black-cropped man nodded slightly when he heard the words, obviously agreeing with his companion's words, and immediately put a long and wide bowler hat like a bamboo hat on his head, and looked at Zhuang. Shuo's companion glanced at him, and said softly, then let's go. After finishing speaking, he walked into the depths of the night in the rain without looking back. Seeing this, the burly man smiled slightly, and after putting on his large top, he quickly followed. At the same time, on the bank of an unknown river. Ah! Ah! Cough, cough, cough Chen Yuming felt that he seemed to be very unlucky recently, maybe it was because he had peed in front of his ancestor's grave some time ago, and now it might be the revenge of the bad god. Let's not talk about the fact that I almost choked myself to death after drinking liquor before, but now it's even more exaggerated. By the way, what's the situation now? Why is it that when I woke up, I was in a hanging water? Well, it looks like this is a river, and I just happened to be in this river? Say which threw me into the river. Chen Yuming felt so depressed now, thinking that I just drank a little wine, as for throwing me directly into the river? What if you accidentally drowned? What a landlord! Obviously, Chen Yuming attributed the fact that he was in the river to his landlord, saying that the old fat woman is really hateful. Didn't I just peek at her daughter taking a shower last time? As for taking revenge on me now. Chen Yuming gritted his teeth in his heart and thought, your daughter is not right looking, and she will not lose a piece of meat after a look. Besides, with the appearance of your daughter, tisk tisk, I can't say anything about you, even if your old genes are not good, don't just force your primitive suspected mutated genes on your daughter body. What kind of mutation are you doing with a good piece of gene? You deliberately want to scare people to death. You didn't just ruin your daughter, you almost ruined me by the way. Speaking of my poor bright eyeballs, brother, I am sorry for you, brother here to assure you, brother, even if I am so hungry and thirsty that I really can't stand it anymore, I will definitely not peak like last time. That mammoth woman in the shower. After all, peeking at ordinary women taking a bath will only result in death, but peeking at a mammoth level girl taking a bath is more than just death. Good guy. That definitely wants to completely destroy us in the soul. Out of my mind, this is. Wait, it seems that this is a bit far away. Speaking of which, the current situation it seems that I forgot something. Cough cough cough, puff. Gilyalong Gilyalong help. After swallowing a few mouthfuls of river water, Chen Yuming finally remembered what he had forgotten, and immediately splashed desperately on the surface of the water, yelling. He yelled loudly, Mamma Mia! Is there anyone? Hurry up, hurry up and breathe. Help, help! Gilyalong Gilyalong it may be because of the intense struggle, Chen Yuming licked his stomach again. It swallowed several mouthfuls of river water. By the way, I can't swim, my lord. Chen Yuming thought in his heart, wanting to cry without tears, but he didn't dare to struggle indiscriminately anymore. He suffered a lot just now, but now he is honest and nervous. After all, he knew very well that if he can't swim, it's better not to move around in the end, because it will only make him die faster. The density of the human body is less than water, so if he doesn't move around, he will eventually be floated up by the buoyancy of the water, which will be safer. Of course, truth is one thing and reality is another. In fact, there are many people who know this truth, but very few can do it in the end. The reason or because of personal psychological reasons, few people can be truly calm in this situation. Chen Yuming was naturally the same feeling his body sinking more and more, although he knew in his heart that he would definitely float up, but he still couldn't help but panic a bit, because he didn't know when he would actually float up. Start floating up. If he floated up after an hour or two, 
wouldn't he have already been drowned in the fart? At that time, even if it floats up, the word float can no longer be used, but should be used float, it floated up. It was precisely because of these considerations that Chen Wuming felt even more flustered. Although he forced himself to calm down again in his heart, it couldn't last long after all, because he didn't know how long he could last in this forced calm state. One minute, ten minutes? Or maybe even less than a minute. So the most important thing now is that someone can rescue him during the period of his persistence. Otherwise, even if he can persist for a long time, it will be useless. Thinking of this, Zin couldn't help praying eagerly in his heart, Mamma Mia! Hurry up and come and rescue me. I'm still a virgin, I don't want to just drown in vain like this. Well, the best person to come is a woman. Well, preferably a big beauty. Well, it's best to be a super beautiful woman who fell in love with me at first sight and is willing to break virginity with me. Quack quack I have to say that the nerves of Otaku are really strong. This is about to die, but he still has the heart to think about these flirtatious things. I'm going. In this way, Chen Wuming's consciousness began to become more and more blurred in the rationality and why why, and finally, it turned into a long darkness. And his last thought before he fell into a coma was, what a fool. It's okay if an ugly man comes to save me. Hey. The continuous raindrops in the sky finally stopped, and he helped the big hat on his head, and the burly man suddenly stopped walking, staring at the distant river with a surprised expression. What's the matter? Seeing this, the black cropped man stopped in doubt, and asked, Did you find anything? Did someone know about our existence? When he said the last sentence, a frightened look flashed in his eyes in vain. His murderous intent and solemnity, he knew very well in his heart that if people really found out, especially if the guys from the Magic Council knew what they were doing at this time, then they would be in trouble. Big trouble. No. The burly man shook his head immediately when he heard the words, and seemed to realize that his words just now might have aroused his companion's uneasiness, so he explained with a smile, it's just that our harvest may be a little bigger. Oh. Hearing this, you you read www. Yuyugonshu.com The doubt in the eyes of the black cropped man deepened as he thought about it, obviously he couldn't figure out what his companion meant by his words. He he, hold it for me. The burly man didn't explain anything, but smiled and handed the two unconscious children under his armpits to the man in black robe. The black cropped man suspiciously took the two children handed over by his companion. He already had two children under his left armpit but now he took two more and put them under his right armpit. That's four. I really don't know why they arrested so many children. But from the looks of it, it is obvious that these children were definitely not obtained through normal channels. Thinking about what the black cropped man said before, it is not difficult to guess that these children should be captured by them through some illegal and invisible means. Could it be that this is the so-called harvest they said? Watching his companion strolling to the river bank, looking carefully at the man in black robe through his traveling route, he has already seen the one that caught his companion's attention a drowning boy. That's how it turned out. After the joints were fixed, the black cropped man couldn't help but heaved a sigh of relief with a smile. It turned out that his companion didn't discover any danger, but to gain extra gains. It's just that I never thought that such a wonderful thing would happen in such a remote place. Hee <laughs> hee, are we extra lucky? The man in the black robe thought to himself with a smile, probably God has already recognized our cause. So take extra care of us. The Tower of Paradise, the R system, and the whole world. You it will be ours in the end. Thinking of this, the eyes of the black cropped man suddenly burst into a frenzied scorching light. Walking to the edge of the river bank, Looking at the black-haired boy who gradually lost his strength to struggle in the water, the burly man couldn't help showing a satisfied smile, thinking that the labor force for building the Tower of Paradise would be supplemented. Up. Unexpectedly, the burly man no longer hesitated, stretched out his broad and rough hands, pointed his palms at the black-haired boy in the river, 
and stretched his hands straight on his chest. The entanglement of the water demon. With a low shout, a water blue circular magic circle suddenly appeared 10 centimeters in front of his palm. The bucket thick jet of clear water suddenly shot out from the magic circle, and shot into the sky in the blink of an eye. This is not over yet, the torrent of water made a magnificent turn in the air, and then it shot towards the place where the black haired boy was like a sharp arrow. In an instant, it was already above the boy's head. However, unlike the ferocity of the oncoming rush, the torrent water column did not cause any harm to the boy's body as imagined, but gently wrapped the boy's waist, and then gently pulled him out of the river. The water column brought the boy's body and slowly flew back to the strong man. Looking at the black-haired boy who had already been drowned by someone and fell into a coma, the strong man couldn't help showing a smile again, and made a move with one hand. The water column shattered, and the water droplets immediately scattered down, but none of them fell on the strong man's body. Without the support of the water column, the boy's body suddenly fell from midair. He stretched his right hand forward to catch the black-haired boy who was in free fall. Holding the back collar of the black-haired boy, he strolled in the direction he came from. Okay. Looking at his companion walking towards him, he casually glanced at the unconscious black-haired boy in his hand, and the black-cropped man said flatly, then get out of here quickly. It's been a long time, I am worried that the guys in the Magic Senate may notice something. Hee <laughs> hee, that's true. Naturally, the burly man had no reason to object to his companion's words, because this was also what he was worried about. Just like what the black-cropped man said, if it takes too long, it will indeed hurt them. Very unfavorable. Now that the labor force has harvested enough, the tasks assigned by the above can be regarded as having been successfully completed. All that needs to be done now is to leave here as soon as possible. After all, the longer they stay, the greater the risk of their exposure will be. Thinking of this, the burly man shrugged helplessly, and then quickly disappeared into the night with the black-haired boy and the black-cropped man. And just less than ten minutes after the burly man and the black-cropped man left, the ripples in the space suddenly trembled, and then two new figures appeared in this area. The two figures are very petite. After a hasty look around, they set their eyes on the ground that was drenched in mud by the heavy rain, and lowered their heads to carefully observe the footprints left on the ground. The footprints of the two obvious adults were directly ignored by them. After bowing down and continuing to check, the eyes of the two suddenly focused, and then stopped at the same time on a line of small footprints. Looking at each other, they both saw the solemnity in each other's eyes. Without hesitation, the two immediately ran forward along the direction of the footprints. Finally, the two of them came to the edge of the river bank, where their footsteps had completely disappeared. Akhil with a mournful cry, Dolan Barut knelt down on the river bank with tears in his eyes, pulled out a shiny silver earring from the dripping mud with trembling hands, and looked at the the rolling river could no longer suppress the grief in his heart, and immediately couldn't help crying. It turned out that these two petite figures were Doran Barut and Rahal who came to look for Akal. Rahal was also silent at this time, looking at Dolan Barut who was crying loudly, but couldn't say a word of comfort. Obviously, they came a step late looking at the Dolan Barut held the silver earrings tightly in his palm, and couldn't help feeling sad for a while. He knew that this pair of earrings was Akal's most important thing. It was the only relic left to him by his long-dead biological parents. Usually, it is very precious to wear on my ears, and I dare not take it off my ears casually for a moment. But at this moment, one of the pair of earrings that Akal regarded as the most cherished fell on the bank of the river and thinking that Akal's footsteps also disappeared at the edge of the river bank, although he was very unwilling, but Rahal still couldn't help speculating that Akal might have been. Alas, thinking of this kind of result, Rahal couldn't help being sad for a while, after all, Akal was also his best friend. Will you, Akal? With his head down, sitting slumped on the dripping soil, Dolan Barut murmured softly, choked with tears. At this time, tears had already covered his cheeks, but he was still stunned. I don't know. 
alas! Seeing Dolan Ballot crying sadly, Rahal didn't know how to comfort him. After all, he was a restrained person, although he was also very sad about Akir's death. However, he forced himself to hold back the desire to cry. Because, if even he is crying bitterly, there will be no one to comfort Doran Barut, thinking of this, Rahal organized a language that he is not particularly good at, and comforted him softly, rather clumsily, you crying like this is not an option, presumably Akal will be sad when he sees it in the spirit of the sky. Since he has already gone, let him go without any worries, stop your meaningless crying. Otherwise, he will even you will also feel uneasy in the sky, besides. Speaking of this, Rahal paused for a while, seeing that his words had attracted Dolan Barut's attention, he immediately yelled in a deep voice while the iron was hot, instead of crying so painfully here, it's better to live with him. Live together, live together, live together. In a word, like a thunderbolt on the ground, Dolan Barut was awakened from extreme sadness in an instant. Yes. Instead of going on in such depressed grief, why not live with Akir in his own right? I, I can't let Akal and his kingdom be upset about me too. Thinking of this, Dolan Barut was suddenly enlightened. The clarity in his eyes couldn't help but become more and more clear, and finally, he finally regained his former calmness, no. Strictly speaking, it should be calmer than before. Don't worry, I will live with him. Wiping away his tears, Dolan Barut stood up from the ground, looking at the rolling river, tightly holding his hands, speaking calmly said including his unfinished part. Don't worry, Akal. You said that you would become the greatest mage in the world. Since you can't fulfill this wish now, please allow me Dolan Barut to fulfill it for you. After finishing speaking, he gently put the silver earring in his hand on his left ear. Looking at the friend whose expression has become unprecedentedly firm, Rahal was relieved and silently swore in his heart, Farewell, my dear friend, I will help you achieve the justice you pursued during your lifetime. I remembered the deep hatred that Akal showed towards the bandit who killed his family and his whole village when he talked about his life experience with Akal a long time ago. Although the bandit had been exterminated by Albert himself at that time, for those bandits who committed all kinds of crimes, and for the justice in this world that has not been fully upheld, UU reading www.uuganshu.com Ackle still showed incomparable hatred. At that time, Ackle had already told them that when he had enough strength in the future, he would definitely reflag the new justice. A true justice upheld by him. People of the world I will let you enjoy the glory under the true justice, because, Thinking of this, Rahal's eyes flashed suddenly, and he murmured softly, This is the last one left by Akil. Last wish. At the same time, in a sailboat sailing to the depths of the sea, Chen Wuming woke up from the drowsiness. When he opened his eyes, Chen Wuming was shocked. Without him, because he found himself in a small space, and this space of unknown location was crowded with dozens of people in extraordinary costumes. These people are male and female, older as well as young. But most of them are children of 11 or 12 years old. You're awake, little guy. Just as Chen Wuming was in a daze, a peaceful old voice suddenly came from beside his ear, which startled him who was in a daze. Looking back, with the help of the weak light in the small space, Chen Wuming finally saw the appearance of the person who spoke clearly. It was an old man in his sixties with white hair all over his head. An inexplicable gaze stared at him, that gaze seemed to be bitter. And, a trace of helplessness and sympathy. Chen Wuming thought carefully for a while, and finally determined the meaning of the old man's gaze, but before he had time to think about why the old man looked at him with this gaze, his gaze was attracted by the old man's hands in vain, or rather, the old man's hands were drawn road chain. You, your hands Chen Wuming looked at the old man's hands in surprise. At this time, the old man's hands were locked by a thick iron chain. Hey? Wait as if thinking of something, Chen Wuming immediately lowered his head and looked at his hands. Sure enough, 
his hands were also bound by an iron chain, and the long chain's wound around his hands several times, binding his hands tightly. The only difference between the two is that the chains that bind him are much thinner. Looking back, the other people in the small space, as expected, are basically the same as myself and the old man, with their hands bound by strong chains, and what's more, even their feet are tied. It's tied up. The reason why I didn't pay attention to these before is probably because I was confused by the flood. Compared with other people, Chen Wuming's treatment is undoubtedly much better. After all, his feet are not tied, but Chen Wuming can't laugh at all, because he found a serious problem. That is his body actually got smaller? Do not. It's not getting smaller. After carefully looking at his current body, Chen Wuming said to himself with certainty in his heart. With a wry smile in his heart, Chen Wuming couldn't help sighing in his heart, or strictly speaking, this is not his original body at all, is it? Because when he checked his body just now, he found that the birthmark on his shoulder has disappeared. The scar on my chest caused by a car accident when I was a child has disappeared? Chen Wuming, who didn't believe in evil, checked his body again, but no matter how many times he checked, he still didn't find his birthmark or scar. It was as if it had disappeared out of thin air, leaving no trace behind. Naturally, it is impossible to disappear out of thin air. Even if it really disappeared out of thin air, how can I explain my current body? Thinking about his current young body, Chen Wuming finally came to a conclusion that made him feel extremely painful and speechless that was him, apparently wearing it. The reason why he said it hurts is because he never thought that he was not only choked to death by drinking, but in the end he was also choked by drinking? I'll go don't play with me like this, right? If I had known, I would have choked on drinking straight away. In this way, there will be no so many oolongs in the future. Thinking of the stupid things he did for time travel, Chen Wuming was speechless for a long time, hey? And many more could it be the legendary soul where? Thinking of this, Chen Wuming tried his best to lift his bound hands and touched the long hair on his head. Chen Wuming sighed helplessly, how could he have such long hair if it wasn't for the soul wearer? After all, I don't have the habit of growing long hair. Thinking of this, I pulled one off, um, luckily it was black. Tilting his head, staring at the hair in his hand, Chen Wuming thought rather fortunately, it wasn't because he had a soft spot for black, it was because he couldn't imagine himself with hair of other colors. To put it simply, if it's okay if it's brown, which is close to black, but if it's golden, red, or white, then it feels weird. For example, if he was allowed to dangle around with a head of golden hair that looked like a gold bar, it would be a bit more conspicuous. People who don't know think they are street gangsters. Although he himself still likes gold bars. Nonsense. And red or white is even more unacceptable to him. Needless to say, the former is more conspicuous and more suitable for women, while the latter looks like a little old man to him. Those who don't know will think that his nameless uncle is prematurely decrepit. And if it is the most cupid green. Then I won't say much. Let's just commit suicide without explaining. So in general, Chen Wuming still prefers the original black color. Not for other reasons, ahem, just for insurance. It seems to be a bit far-fetched, after realizing that his hair color is not as horrible as imagined, Chen Wuming began to pay attention to his current identity. Well, or the identity of the former owner of this body. As soon as this idea popped up in my mind, Countless memories suddenly burst out in my mind. There was only a muffled boom in his head, Chen Wuming's eyes turned white, and he fainted again decisively. Why did he say again? In the vast white sea of consciousness, Chen Wuming stared blankly at the pictures that kept flashing in front of his eyes. Without exception, all the pictures were presented from the first perspective, and they seemed to be telling about a person's life experience. Although it is impossible to see the appearance of the protagonist who has experienced these scenes because of the first-person perspective, Chen Wuming still has a feeling in his heart, 
that as these pictures belong to the former owner of his current body experience. There was no basis for this idea, but it made him extremely convinced. It seems to be an instinctive feeling, ethereal but extremely precise. Perhaps, this is my original memory is uncertain? Suddenly, such a strange idea came to Chen Wuming's heart, which made him shake his head vigorously in fright, maybe if the consciousness can shake his head, he wanted to expel this weird thought from his mind, but let him what was terribly frightening was that once this weird thought came up, it seemed to have taken root in his mind and grew rapidly in his mind. In just a moment, his entire mind was already filled. Oh! It turns out that this is my life. Chen Wuming suddenly sighed in his heart. Do not. Wrong. There was a flash of struggle in his heart, and Chen Wuming's consciousness suddenly became clearer. Thinking of all the things he had experienced before his death, Chen Wuming's consciousness became more and more clear, and then he couldn't help but roared hoarsely in his heart. It's not my life. Lao Tzu is a great man determined to overthrow all the beauties in the world. How could it be so useless? So aggrieved? So I am definitely not this magical waste named Ackle. Because if it were me, I would make everyone who dared to laugh at me tremble helplessly under my pressure. If, if it were me thinking of this, Chen Wuming roared proudly in his heart, I must make the Zan Pakuto and Shinigami become the only weapon for my uncle's magic transformation. Opening his eyes, Chen Wuming looked extremely calm. What's the matter, young man? The old man looked at Chen Wuming who had regained consciousness in front of him, and asked with a worried expression on his face. Chen Wuming's sudden coma just now really shocked him. And no matter how much he yelled, there was still no sign of waking up. Fortunately, it didn't take long for Chen Wuming to suddenly wake up on his own initiative. Otherwise, no matter how scared he was of those guys, the old man couldn't help but bite the bullet and call for help from the wizards who arrested them here up. It has to be said that the old man's heart is quite good. What happened to you just now? Thinking of Chen Wuming's sudden coma just now, the old man couldn't help asking with the doubts in his heart. It's nothing, it's an old problem. Chen Wuming couldn't help feeling warm about the old man's concern, Dang even shook his head slightly and explained with a smile. Of course, he lied a little here, but he really couldn't tell others about his own situation, so he had to tell a white lie, shouldn't that be counted? Oh, then you should take a good rest. Although we have been kidnapped by evil wizards, the body is still the most important thing. Regarding this, the old man did not doubt him, and immediately moved to the side move the place and make an open space for Chen Wuming to lie down and rest. Seeing this, Chen Wuming gave the old man a grateful smile and didn't refuse. He just lay down. After all, his body was still very weak after being flooded. There are still some thoughts that need to be sorted out. The old man smiled slightly, did not say anything, and dozed off with his legs curled up against the wall. It is worth mentioning that, like Chen Wuming, the old man's feet were not by chains probably because the two men who grabbed them the mages who came here saw that they were just old people and children, so they didn't put more chains on them, right? Although he was physically tired, Yu Yu reading www.yuyuganshu.com especially after the memory fusion just now made him very tired mentally, but Chen Wuming still didn't feel sleepy at all, just lying quietly there, silently digesting this strange experience. My real name is Chen Wuming. He is a standard otaku on earth. Usually the greatest pleasure is to watch Reaper. I once had a great ambition that is, to travel to the world of death and push all the beauties inside. I have also tried time traveling countless times, but all of them failed without exception. Who would have thought that in the end, just because of his self-deprecating and random joke, he would actually travel to another world. But it's not the world of the of death that I dreamed of. As for what kind of world it is, I don't know much. Well, it's okay. Although the poor man Ackle I traveled through was a bit of a waste, it seemed that he still left me with a little bit of useful things, for example memory. According to the memory left by the former owner of this body, 
a guy named Ackle, the world I traveled through seems to be a magical world? Well, just like the descriptions in most time travel novels. But if there is any difference, it probably means that there is no so-called grudge here, right? This is a world that is more in line with my appetite, mainly relying on magic. And as a rare time traveler, I, Chen Yuming, must be awesome in this magical world in the future. Must. After thinking about it, Chen Yuming finally fell into a deep sleep, unable to suppress his physical and mental exhaustion anymore. P.S. Amount, it seems a bit late. Get up. M.D. is still sleeping? Didn't you hear what I said? Hurry up and get up. Early in the morning, the genius was slightly bright, and a rough-looking man had already entered this small space, rushing to the sleeping man. A group of people roared loudly, with a fierce look on their faces. After being yelled at by the rude man, everyone couldn't sleep anymore. Although everyone was furious, no one dared to confront the other party. There is no way, not to mention that everyone's hands and feet are chained and the combat power they can display is very limited, but the identity of the opponent's mage is enough to scare them in their hearts. Although I don't know what the purpose of these mages is to catch me, but the result is not much better. But the gap in strength is there after all, even if they want to resist, they still have no chance. So they had no choice but to let them slaughter them. After all, although everyone was angry in their hearts, they hadn't lost their minds. Naturally, no one was willing to take the initiative to touch the bad luck of these wizards. Although this kind of thinking is very negative, it is undoubtedly the best way at present. At least for the time being, there is no danger to their lives. The situation of killing is seen. Thinking about it, those wizards are not fools, since they arrested themselves and others on purpose, then there must be some ulterior motives without accidents. It might even be necessary to use myself and others at critical moments. So at least for the time being, there is no danger to their lives. It's better not to rush to resist and see the situation first, live as long as you can. This is the true thought in everyone's heart. I have to say that people in that world are basically afraid of the dead. Such people are generally not in situations where there is a great chance of escape or when their own lives are threatened, they usually tolerate as much as they can, and retreat as soon as they can. Although it is possible to live a little longer by surviving like this, but in the same way, when this kind of people encounter a real disaster, they are usually the first to be dealt with. Just like boiling a frog in warm water. Regarding everyone's thoughts, Chen Yuming was undoubtedly the clearest. Because he is also one of the kidnapped people at the moment, so if you think about it a little bit, you can probably know what they are thinking, in fact, he was already awake when the rude man first came in, maybe because he traveled through this kind of night what happened to Tan actually happened to him, so although Chen Yuming fell asleep last night, he didn't sleep too deeply. Although Chen Yuming secretly sneered in his heart at the lucky thoughts reported by everyone but helplessly, there is no way at all. Without him, not only because of his body as a child, but more importantly no one to help him. Although the saying that a person's power is always small may not be the most accurate in this magical world, it couldn't be more appropriate if it is put into Chen Yuming's current situation. Thinking of this, Chen Yuming couldn't help but sighed lightly. What's the matter, little guy? Chen Yuming's expression was naturally seen by the old man beside him, seeing that he just shook his head slightly and didn't answer his own words. As a mature man, he naturally knew what the other party was thinking. What, he also sighed at the moment, and said softly to Chen Yuming or just talking to himself, although it is very negative, as long as you are alive, there is always hope. Hearing this, Chen Yuming was shocked all over. Yes, as long as there is life, there is hope. If you die, then there is really no hope at all. It seems that your own ideas are too ambitious. Thinking of this, Chen Yuming couldn't help but cast a grateful look at the old man. Of course, he wouldn't be an idiot to think that the other party was really just talking to himself. Obviously, the other party is trying to wake him up. 
For Chen Yuming's grateful eyes, the old man didn't seem to see it, and he still just squinted there, as if he was dozing off or thinking about something, but as long as he pays attention, he can still see it. Seeing the fleeting admiration in the eyes of the old man, although it was only a short moment. After figuring out the depression in his heart, Chen Yuming couldn't help but relax for a while. Of course, the relaxation mentioned here doesn't mean that he really relaxed about the gang of magisters who kidnapped him and others. Be vigilant, on the contrary, his vigilance has risen like never before. Because he didn't know what the other party's purpose in arresting so many people was, and he didn't dare to relax his vigilance for a moment until he had completely determined the other party's purpose. Over there, the rude man seemed to be getting impatient, but he urged him again, cursing and yelling, while slapping those who were dozing off with the whip in his hand. Ah there was a sudden scream, which immediately attracted everyone's attention. They looked in the direction of the sound, and saw a middle-aged man curled up on the ground in pain, like a hemp shrimp. Similarly, cold sweat continued to ooze from his forehead, obviously suffering from great pain. Then I looked at the place where he was covering his hands, uh, after a long time, it turned out that he was hit by a whip in the balls. Chen Yuming watched this scene profusely, while feeling silent mourning for that dear friend, he also thought quite speechlessly in his heart, by the way, buddy, you must be a bit of a disaster. Needless to say, I know that it must have hurt just now. But having said that, Chen Yuming was resolutely evil. Speaking of which, why does he feel that the rude man and the unlucky cup man lying on the ground add up to a very weird feeling? It seems to be quite a bit of S.M.S. great demeanor. Those who were also sweating profusely included the instigator of this painful situation the rude man. At this moment, the other party was looking convulsively at the middle-aged man who was lying on the ground and kept screaming, looking at the whip in his hand. Then he threw the whip far away with a cold expression on his face, obviously thinking of this. Empty. Don't sleep with me one by one. I haven't slept well yet. If I find out that someone is sleeping next to me, this guy will end up. TCH the rude man warned again in annoyance, by the way then he pointed to the middle-aged man who was still lying on the ground and hadn't recovered from the severe pain. After spitting lightly, he muttered a few words md. Everyone is following a pig I can sleep in the same way. After finishing speaking, he ignored the expressions of everyone in the small space, and then he opened the deck leading to the upper floor, turned over and climbed out. As for the expressions of everyone, uh, not surprisingly, they all consciously used various methods to relieve their drowsiness. After all, no one wants to enjoy the feeling of pain in the egg. In other words, it is really painful to say. All right, do not piffle anymore. Chen Yuming's thoughts returned to the status quo, and he lowered his head to think. He had learned from the old man that they were locked in a warehouse under the deck of a sailboat. Don't ask the old man how he knew, after all, no matter what how can I say that he has lived for so long, if he can't even figure out this point, then his sixty years of life will be in vain. According to the old man, since the warehouse they are in is not too big, the sailboat used to transport them is not a big one, and there is also a smell of seaweed and salty moisture in the air look, needless to say, you can probably guess that this ship is sailing in a certain sea area. But which side of the sea it is, and where the other party wants to transport them or even what they want them to do is unknown, but even if you think about it with your ass, you can guess that it will never be a good thing. Nonsense. If something good happens, it will be your turn. And since someone came to urge him to wait for others to get up just now, needless to say, he knew that he was probably at the place. Thinking of this, Chen Yuming couldn't help being shocked, and the vigilance in his heart was immediately raised to the peak in vain at this moment. Sure enough, within ten minutes, that rude man climbed down again, and urged the crowd to go to the deck. After arriving on the deck, Chen Yuming was finally able to take a good look at the surrounding situation. This is a strange sea area. This was the first thought that came to Chen Yuming's mind. 
The reason why it was said to be weird was because the sea area on this side was shrouded in a dark sky, and there was no seabird around. It was like entering a lifeless dead sea. In the middle of the sea area, stands a medium-sized island. Just like the feeling of the sea area, the whole island also gives people a strange and cold feeling. At this time, the sailboat is docking at the edge of the island's pier. What are you looking at? What are you doing in a daze? Hurry up and go ashore. Just as everyone was stunned for a moment, the rude man immediately urged loudly impatiently, if you want to watch, there will be opportunities in the future look. Get me ashore now. After shouting, he viciously raised the whip in his hand. Seeing this, everyone shrank their heads in fright, not daring to delay, they all rushed down from the deck to the island, and then waited for the rude man's order, and Chen Wuming naturally couldn't continue to observe the surrounding situation has changed, and now he is walking down with other people. Seeing that everyone was so obedient, the rude man seemed very satisfied. He raised his head proudly, and was about to reprimand him a few more words to satisfy his inner satisfaction, when suddenly there was a cold call from the deck behind him. Voice, OK, Tucker, don't waste time, let's take them to the construction site quickly. Pressing down the white hat on top of his head, the man in black robe said indifferently. Standing behind him was the burly man who went out with him to carry out the task of arresting the labor force assigned by his superiors. Yes, yes, Lord Safi. Hearing this, the rude man, who was called Tucker by the man in black, bowed his waist respectfully, and responded humbly. Said, I'll take this group of labor to the construction site right away. And the black cropped man didn't say anything after hearing the words and then he turned and left with the burly man beside him just to take a look at Chen Wuming and the others. These two guys should be at the cotter level of this unknown group of evil mages, right? Looking at the two people who were gradually going away, Chen Wuming thought solemnly, from the attitude of Tucker just now, it was obvious that the status of those two people must not be low. What are you still doing here in a daze? Hurry up and move forward. After wiping the cold sweat from his forehead, Tucker finally recovered from the pressure of the two adults. When he stared at himself with a strange look, he couldn't help roaring in anger, if I delay the plans of the adults, I will take you as a question. The eyes felt quite uncomfortable. That kind of look is obviously despising yourself. Being despised by them, anyone can see that this guy is obviously angry, and naturally no one will be stupid enough to touch the other party's bad luck at this time, so they hurried on their way one by one, cursing at Tucker under the guidance of the teacher, he hurried towards the so-called construction site. Similarly, although Chen Wuming was still very puzzled about the so-called construction site, Chen Wuming would not be an idiot to ask directly. He still often secretly observes the surrounding environment while that Tucker is not paying attention. He didn't dare to be a little sloppy on this point, after all, this was the key to whether he could escape from birth and regain his freedom in the future. So he observed very carefully. P.S., although I worked hard to code, the result seems to be relatively late. Alas, there is no way, there are too many classes every day, is Nemus full every day? Very resentful. After walking for a while, Chen Wuming finally understood why this place was called a construction site. In other words, it was indeed similar to the construction site. The entire island was full of people, and countless people in rags were holding various tools. Working hard there, tinkling and humming, with a look of enthusiasm. Around, there are many guards wearing strange round masks and holding red magic dogs, holding weapons and supervising those working there yelling loudly from time to time, or occasionally giving electric shocks with the magic props in their hands take a look at those who are working a little slower, and urge them to speed up. Seeing such a scene, Chen Wuming was completely shocked in his heart. He thought of the black slaves recorded in the history books who were still on the earth before. Under the oppression of the colonists, countless black slaves worked endlessly on the extremely difficult construction site every day until they died. And now, 
what is the difference between this and the black slaves that existed on Earth during the colonial expansion period. Perhaps if there is any difference, it is probably only the people who work on this so-called construction site, not just people with black skin? I really didn't expect that this kind of thing that he could only see through consulting materials or novels and movies in his previous life would appear in front of his eyes now. Haha, <laughs> should I feel lucky? Still should feel depressed. But even though he said this, if he really wanted to say it, Chen Yuming would definitely not be able to laugh. Because obviously, the purpose of being arrested here should undoubtedly be the same as those who are being exploited hard, right? If there is no accident, I am afraid that I will probably become one of this group of slaves soon. With a wry smile in his heart, Chen Yuming thought so in his heart. At this time, there was a sudden commotion in the crowd, and everyone chattered, obviously thinking of this. What's the noise? Tucker glared at him immediately, then waved his hand, and a huge circular magic circle appeared above everyone's heads, and purple thunderbolts fell straight down. Everyone wailed in pain. Bastard. Feeling the severe pain from Zidian's penetration into his body, Chen Yuming was almost stunned by the electric shock, but if so, he was directly shocked to kneel on the ground, and his mind felt dizzy for a while. Feeling ruthless in his heart, he immediately bit the tip of his tongue fiercely, using the pain of his tongue to temporarily clear his mind, and firmly grasping the ground with both hands, Chen Yuming cursed viciously in his heart to the man who used the magic electric shock. His rude man, Tucker, thought cruelly, I will kill you. Definitely. He has always been pampered and pampered on the earth, when has he been tortured so painfully by others? For the first time, the desire to kill is as strong as it is now, unprecedentedly strong. At this moment, this rude man named Tucker was directly included in the must-kill list by Chen Yuming. Do not. Strictly speaking, in his heart, the other party is already a dead person. The feeling of being hit by the magic purple electricity is indeed very painful. This is the case even when Chen Yuming has a certain amount of magic power in his body to resist. It is even more painful for ordinary people who do not have a little bit of magic power in their bodies. The severe pain directly caused many people to faint like this. In order to avoid unnecessary trouble, Chen Yuming immediately rolled his eyes, foamed at the mouth and fell unconscious. Of course, he was faking it. Hey! If I don't give you a little trouble, I think you will not be honest in the future. The situation where everyone was stunned was naturally expected by Tucker. In fact, he did it on purpose. In order to show everyone a little bit of power. Shock everyone. Lest these guys think about resisting and running away every day in the future. He took out a round mask like those of the guards from his pocket and put it on his forehead, then called a group of young people to send these unconscious people to the detention places in each district, then turned and left. With his eyes tightly closed, Chen Yuming naturally heard what Tucker told his subordinates clearly. After feeling himself being picked up and led to a place, he quietly opened his eyes. Opened a thin slit, observed everything outside carefully, and carefully remembered all the routes passed by in his heart. After being carried for about ten minutes, Chen Yuming was taken to a dark place by the soldier who carried him. The reason for the question mark is because this living place is too dilapidated. Just like a slum. Do not. Strictly speaking, even the slums are better than this place. Let's put it this way, rather than saying that this is a place for people to live in, it is more suitable to say that it is a cage for keeping livestock. In this regard, Chen Yuming was not surprised at all, after all, his current identity is a slave. The little soldier who was carrying Chen Yuming threw Chen Yuming directly into the dilapidated residence, then turned around and left. After all, he is still responsible for the supervision and guarding of the tower of this paradise, so there is no need wasting time here. For this, Chen Yuming naturally couldn't wish for it. Seeing that the soldier had already left, he turned over and sat up, leaning against the dirty wall, and casually looked at the dilapidated residence. 
Chen Yuming lowered his head and thought. Up. For some reason, Chen Yuming is the only person in the entire residence now. It is impossible that no one else lives in this huge room. You can know this just by looking at the messy personal belongings around. I don't know where the others have gone, but I guess they must be working on various construction sites, right? Isn't that the purpose of those magisters arresting themselves and others to come here? I don't know what these guys are doing. Judging from what I saw when I pretended to be unconscious, it seems that I should be building something. But what exactly are they building? Do you have to take the risk of violating the law and arrest so many citizens to build it? Is this a little too bold? Aren't they afraid of being executed by members of the Magic Council? But the one who dared to do such an outrageous thing should obviously be some unknown black magic organization. Only those evil mages who believe in black magic dare to ignore the laws of the country like this. With the memory and knowledge already fused in his mind, Chen Yuming came up with such a conjecture. Could it be that they are building some kind of terrible forbidden magic launcher or controller? Judging from the scale of the building, it must be a terrifying forbidden magic that violates human ethics. So many clues can be analyzed just by relying on the fused knowledge memory in the mind and a little bit of incomplete observation. It has to be said that Chen Yuming's reasoning and analysis ability is simply extraordinary. No way, maybe this is probably the advantage of every nerd in the world, right? They study hard in front of the computer every day behind closed doors to study all kinds of knowledge, and their brains are far more developed and active than ordinary people. And this powerful ability of analysis and reasoning is one of the manifestations of a developed and active brain. However frowning tightly, Chen Yuming muttered to himself, how to escape? There is no doubt that the defense here is much stricter than imagined. And the people guarding here are all it's a mage. It seems that this unknown group of mages is unexpectedly strong. But it is also true, if the strength is not strong enough, how can it be possible to make such an extraordinary masterpiece of building a forbidden magic system? Shaking his head, Chen Yuming couldn't help sighing, although the former owner of this body, that useless brat named Akal, had heard a lot of anecdotes about this magical world from his grandfather, the Dean. However, when it comes to things about forbidden magic, he only knows about the term and its harmfulness, but he doesn't know the specific forbidden magic. After all, it's just that he has a little stronger reasoning and analysis ability. After all, he is not a god, so naturally he can't guess the building that is being built on the island where he is at the moment it turns out to be the one that is famous in the magic world and can activate the legendary the R system of forbidden magic that can bring the dead back to life. Alias Tower of Paradise At the same time, in a large hall deep in the Tower of Paradise, there is a huge magic crystal in the center of the dark hall, surrounded by countless mysterious and incomprehensible magic circles. A mage with a small round mask on his head was laughing and talking about something. Crack suddenly, the door of the hall was pushed open from the outside, and with the sound of several crisp footsteps, Two middle-aged men in black robes and large round hats walked away. Come in. Yo you're back. Seeing this, the skinny mage immediately greeted the two of them with a smile, and said with a smile, How's the harvest this time? Didn't you encounter any danger? Well, so-so, it went well. Throwing the white hat on his head on the ground, the man in black said lightly. Hee hee. It's hard work for the two of you to catch the sacrifices this time, right? Come on, let's go and have a drink or two, let's treat it as a cleansing for you. The fat mage suggested with a smile. Then what's so hard? Everything is for our great dreams and pursuits. The burly man smiled and stepped forward to pat the fat mage's stomach, and said with a big smile, It's you, I'm too hungry to think about it. Just talk about drinking. Why make such a poor excuse, really treat me as a three-year-old child? Ha 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 Chen Yuming on the other side, because when he used the pitiful magic in his body to resist Tucker's magic Zidian, it was basically exhausted. In addition, his body suffered some injuries when he was hit by Zidian, so it didn't take a while. 
he leaned against the wall and fell into a deep sleep. I have to say here that transmigration is really powerful, especially the soul piercing like Chen Yuming, who can't help completely absorbing all the memories of the original owner of the body, even its magic and magic power are completely absorbed by him down. Although this magical power seems to be pitifully small, it is better than nothing. Compared with the situation when he was on Earth before, he could only fantasize about magic, a legendary and ethereal thing, and now it is much better. Although the magical talent of this body seems useless, it depends on the person to use it, doesn't it? Don't they all say that magic is a miracle that comes from the heart and soul? If this is the case, then the owner of this body is himself now, not that idiot named Akal. If it was me, the situation should be much better, right? Chen Yuming thought hopefully in his heart, but he couldn't be sure, after all, no one can say for sure about magic talent, God knows how his magic talent is maybe it's even worse than that idiot named Akal. Not necessarily. Thinking like this, Chen Yuming gradually fell into a dreamland. In his dream, he dreamed that he not only possessed powerful magic power that no one could match. It also has a unique dress-up magic in the world. Because in his dream, he can summon all kinds of powerful Zanpakuto in the world of the of death to use as his weapon for changing magic. Just fell asleep like this, and suddenly heard what seemed to be a loud noise coming from his ears which woke up Chen Yuming in his sleep, and at the same time he cursed himself for not having any sense of crisis in his heart, Chen Yuming suddenly opened his mouth. Eyes. I saw a young lady with beautiful blue hair who caught my eye. There was a strange pattern tattooed on the right face of the lady. The dark brown pattern stretched straight from the top of the right eye to the position close to the chin. Shi Zhengtai's eyes were wide open, looking at him with concern. But these are not the main points, what really caught Chen Yuming's attention was the other party's eyes. What a pure and righteous look, Chen Yuming sighed inwardly. Uh, what can I do for you? After thinking for a while, Chen Yuming still took the initiative to say hello. Are you okay? I couldn't wake you up no matter what you called just now, you seem to be a newcomer, right? And you still have injuries on your body? you must have been injured by those nasty guys too. Concern first I asked a question, Yu Yu reading www.yuyuganchu.com immediately, the blue-haired boy gritted his teeth and started talking to himself again, obviously hating those cruel and inhuman groups of evil mages. Uh, he 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 Chen Yuming also felt a little embarrassed that he was sleeping so deeply. After all, he seemed to be being slaved now so he laughed a few times to cover up his embarrassment. Huh that's good. Hearing this, the blue-haired wife also breathed a sigh of relief, and immediately smiled and stretched out her right hand, introducing herself, my name is Gerald. Gerald Fay Fernandez, since we met by fate, even though we met in adversity, we will be friends in the future anyway. We must get along well in the days to come. As he spoke, he gestured with his finger for the other people in the residence, Chen Yuming had slept for a long time just now, and it was completely dark, so at this time, those other people who had been working outside had already returned, and they were all he looked at Chen Yuming who had just woken up with a friendly face. Uh, Chen Yuming, you can just call me Yuming. He also stretched out his right hand and shook lightly with that brat named Gerald. Chen Yuming introduced himself with a bit of pain. Speaking of which, he is indeed in pain, it seems that he is an adult in his early twenties. Although the body after time travel looks like a little kid, and looks about the same size as Gerald in front of him, but his soul is a real adult. Suddenly, a guy who looked like a brat to him spoke to him in an old-fashioned tone, saying that this feeling is really fucking. We are adults, right? Little brother Gerald. Speechlessly rolling his eyes, Chen Yuming thought with a rather painful heart. Brother Yuming. If you're tired, sit down and rest for a while. I'll help you out. Looking at Chen Yuming, who was sweating profusely and panting, Gerald suggested in a low voice, his eyes full of concern. Phew, no need wiping the sweat from his forehead, 
and leaning the shovel in his hand on the ground, Chen Yuming looked at Gerald's concerned eyes, and couldn't help feeling warm in his heart. He braced his tired body and said with a smile, On the contrary, you should be tired after working for so long, right? Come on, take a break and take it easy while those guys are not paying attention, and let me help you to catch the wind. Said, wiped again wiped the sweat off his face. It was the scorching sun at this time, and the scorching sun was mercilessly scorching on everyone's bodies. Chen Yuming, who had worked hard for a whole morning, was already exhausted. Beads of sweat covered his entire face. His hair and clothes were already soaked in sweat. But for Gerald's kindness, he still refused decisively without thinking about it. What are you kidding? Although his current body is just a kid of 12 or 13 years old, his soul is the soul of a real adult anyway. Besides, he could clearly see that Gerald's condition was not much better than his at this time, and he looked as if he might collapse at any time, so how could he have the cheek to rest by himself and let a child take his place? Letting go? He can't hide his face from this kind of thing. It has been more than a week since he was brought to this small island. During this more than a week, he was forced to go out with Gerald and the others every day at Don Du Coulis, and then work for a whole day, that is to say, that group of unknown evil wizards is really hateful enough. Not only is he put in a pair of magic handcuffs, but they are made to work until late every day before they are allowed to sleep. Then every day before dawn, I would be called up again to continue the seemingly endless work, and as long as I did it a little slower, I would be beaten by those guys from time to time. Not to mention, the food distributed to them each time is not only inedible, but also has a limited quantity. Think about it, a person not only has to do heavy work for a long time every day, but also can only eat very poorly and very little for each meal. He can't even meet the basic food and clothing requirements, and he has to sleep for a long time if there is no guarantee, even if this person is hard, he can't stand it. It is estimated that this person's body will not be able to support it for a long time. And what Chen Yuming is encountering now is precisely this kind of situation. After this week, although he has not reached the point where he is only skinny, he is still weak and weak. If it goes on like this, I'm afraid it won't be long before he will say goodbye to this world. And the most terrible thing is that his current body is just in the growth stage. If the current life cannot be improved in time, I am afraid that even if he escapes here successfully or is lucky enough to be rescued in the future, it may be too late by then. After all, the development potential of the body is estimated to be already almost destroyed. So, again, you must leave this ghostly place as soon as possible. Even if it is for the sake of my future body, I have to do this. However, in the absence of a good opportunity to escape, they can only wait for the opportunity silently. But Chen Yuming is not without a little gain, at least after this week of getting along, under the introduction of Gerald, he has made a lot of peer friends, and relying on his own maturity and steady, he has successfully become the big brother among a group of people. Leaving aside the real age of his soul, according to the memory after fusion, his current body alone is slightly older than them so he is not only a matter of course, but also a well-deserved elder brother. No, you should rest. Gerald shook his head when he heard the words, and said seriously, I have been working here for a long time, and my body has already adapted to this high-intensity work but you are different, Brother Wu Ming, after all, you have only been arrested here for a short time, so the one who should really rest is you, not me. His tone was full of seriousness, because he could see that Chen Wu Ming's body it is obvious that the limit is almost reached. Er hearing this, Chen Wu Ming was speechless, and his expression was quite awkward. In fact, Gerald was right. After all, his current body is obviously not yet fully grown, and his physical fitness can't be compared with his previous time on Earth. In addition, he used to be an otaku who didn't like to endure hardships, so the feeling in his heart naturally, his endurance is much worse than that of normal people, so at this moment, his body has already begun to crumble, and even if he continues to hold on, he probably won't last long. 
Just as he was about to say something more, a supervisor over there had already spotted the two people who were slacking off, and immediately started yelling. Hey! The two boys over there! Don't you want to live anymore? How dare you goof off over there again? As he spoke, the supervisor walked quickly towards this side, leading the red magic dog. Oops! We've been discovered! Seeing this, Chen Yuming couldn't help crying out in his heart, thinking that he would obviously be beaten again, and it would only hurt Gerald. Lao cast a slightly apologetic look. Gerald didn't care much about this, he was obviously used to it, or he got used to it when he was beaten, uh. But the supervisor was only halfway there when he was accidentally tripped over. Ouch the supervisor cried out in pain, and sat down on the ground. When he saw that everyone around him was looking at him with gloating eyes, he couldn't help shouting, What are you looking at? What are you looking at? What's there to watch? If you want to see it so much, then don't sleep tonight, I'll let you see enough. Let me work quickly. Hearing this, the laborers at UU reading www.uugonshu.com shrank their heads in fright and continued to do their own work. After all, they have worked hard all day, and they don't want to stay at night. Overtime work. Seeing that those people stopped looking at this site and started doing their own work honestly, the supervisor stood up again with a gloomy face, looked at the blonde kid who tripped him with an extremely gloomy expression, and sternly with a whip, he whipped it over. Ah the magic leather whip struck the blonde boy's back heavily with electric sparks, and the boy couldn't help howling in pain. Seeing this, Chen Yuming and Gerald couldn't help but frowned, and when they were about to step forward to stop them, someone had already rushed forward one step ahead of them, stopped in front of the supervisor, and grabbed it landed on the right wrist of the supervisor who was about to swing down the magic whip again, and then under the dull eyes of Chen Yuming and Gerald, he threw it over his shoulder beautifully, and instantly sent the supervisor flying out. This Chen Yuming stared at this scene dumbfounded. He only saw a bright crimson flash in front of his eyes. When he just recovered from the eye-catching crimson, the supervisor he was already knocked down to the ground. To sum it up in three words, fast, accurate, and ruthless. Especially when he saw clearly that the owner of the blush was just a little girl who was about 11 or 12 years old and looked even younger than Gerald, the shock in his heart was even more indescribable. Who is this guy? But now is obviously not the time to think about this issue, because the girl with the long crimson hair is already facing a catastrophe. Ah! Come on! Come on! This little is going to rebel! Sure enough, just as Chen Yuming imagined, after the supervisor was thrown out, he cried out in pain, and then Dang even yelled. What what? Who wants to rebel and who wants to rebel? The overseer's shout immediately attracted the attention of other overseers who were scattered everywhere. When even a clattering group of people rushed towards this side, they glanced vigilantly. The sacrifices who were working around took a look, and one of the supervisors, who looked like a little boss, glanced at the shouting supervisor who was lying on the ground moaning in pain, and said in a deep voice, Who the wants to want to rebel? It's these two guys. The supervisor heard the words and didn't care about the pain at this time. Dang even turned over and got up from the ground, rubbed his painful buttocks, and pointed at the person in front of him. The little girl with crimson hair who dared to throw herself out, who was looking at her with a stubborn face, and the little boy with yellow hair hiding behind her cursed viciously, How dare you even dare to attack me? I'm getting impatient with you. Okay, okay. Very good you guys. Hearing this, the little boss face suddenly darkened, and he slapped the little girl with crimson hair the face. Pa the girl was slapped and fell to the ground immediately, the left side of her face was swollen immediately, and the corner of her mouth overflowed with traces of bright red blood, but even so, the girl still stubbornly held herself high with a determined and unyielding face, he stared into the eyes of the little boss. You still dare to stare at me? Enthused by the girl's eyes, the little boss immediately flew into a rage, raised the magic wand in his hand, and was about to give the other party some flair, 
but at this moment don't hit my sister. With a childish yell, the little blonde boy who was hiding behind the girl stood up and stopped her, although his expression was still full of fear, and he even stood up straight. His legs were trembling a little, but he still suppressed the fear in his heart and mustered up the courage to shout out loudly with his immature voice, I won't let you bully my sister. No. Shu. Seeing this, the girl immediately turned pale with fright, and wanted to stop the little boy's behavior, but it was obviously too late. Ha 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 ha. All right. Since you are so courageous sure enough, upon hearing this, the little boss's expression changed in vain, and then he couldn't help laughing out loud as if he had heard some particularly funny joke. Laughing wickedly while raising the magic wand in his hand, the little boss suddenly roared loudly with a distorted face, then let's be punished together. Several suspended magic props were released, hitting the blonde-haired boy named Chiu and the crimson-haired girl straightly. Ah the boy Xiu Dang even let out a miserable howl, then fell down and curled up on the ground, his whole body was twitching non-stop with a face full of pain, and his body was trembling uncontrollably, obviously suffering from great pain, and even though the crimson-haired girl was also attacked by lightning magic, she obviously behaved much better than the boy Xiu. At most, she just gritted her teeth. Although her body was enduring great pain, she was stunned. He didn't make a single cry. Stop. When Chen Yuming was still in a daze, Gerald couldn't bear to watch it any longer, and rushed forward with a loud roar. Seeing this, Chen Yuming immediately recovered from the daze, helpless, worried about Gerald's comfort, he had no choice but to bite the bullet and follow. To be honest, he still admired this girl with long crimson hair. He didn't expect such a strong willpower at such a young age. The result was naturally obvious, Gerald and Chen Yuming who rushed forward were all without exception were served by the little boss with magic. Hey! Take it easy, you kid, give me a little light. You want to murder me and massage Wally. In the dilapidated residence, Chen Yuming grinned and sat on a dilapidated small stool, half naked from the upper body, behind him was a young man with a much longer and sharper nose than ordinary people who was helping him wipe the bruises on his back with clean water. Hey, I'm talking about the nameless boss, isn't it just that your back was beaten blue and your skin was scratched a little bit? As for calling so miserable. Hearing this, Wally couldn't help but rolled his eyes, quite speechless he muttered in a low voice, by the way, don't you think it's a shameful thing to yell like this? Hey, hey, hey. I heard everything. How could Wally's muttering escape Chen Yuming's ears? Hearing what he said, Chen Yuming immediately jumped up from the small stool, glared fiercely at Wally behind him, and yelled in dissatisfaction, Is it just beaten green? And only a little bit of skin. I'm going to go. Yes. My feelings are not serious, you still feel dissatisfied, right? Listening to your tone. It seems that I wish I would be killed by magic directly. I said you are too heartless, right? Thanks to the boss I always take good care of you. Don't be angry, boss Wuming, it's not because of your strong fighting ability, that's why I sigh with admiration. Hearing this, Wally said with a smile, besides, your injuries seem to be it's really not that heavy. It's not too heavy. Chen Wuming immediately rolled his eyes and shouted at Wally in a rather frustrated manner, that's good. If you have the guts, go up and be bombarded by magic. We don't want too much, as long as you bear me taste the magic one by one. I will see if you can still laugh. By the way, you really have a backache when you stand and talk. This is an internal injury. Do you understand the internal injury? Really? Said he said, shaking his head helplessly staring at Wally in front of him with a look of resentment. Farewell, nameless boss. Hearing this, Wally was taken aback, he was just kidding, isn't he? Do you really think everyone has Chen Wuming's exaggerated fighting ability? If I were to do it by myself, I would probably be blasted to pieces by the magic in a short while. Thinking of this, Wally hurried over with a glass of water, 
handed it to Nameless Chen with a shy face, and said with a smile, You have a lot of adults, don't worry about it with a small person like me. I was wrong. It's okay if I admit my mistake. Humph. In response, Chen Yuming snorted coldly and then ignored him. Instead, he turned his attention to a few people not far away, and finally stopped on Gerald, Hey, I said Ji Lao boy, are you all right? Thank you so much brother Yuming today. Gerald looked at Chen Yuming with sincerity, his eyes were touched, and there was a hint of guilt in his eyes, if it wasn't because I was too impulsive, what would you do today? Then you won't be implicated, and you will be covered with injuries. As he spoke, he lowered his head guiltily, as if he blamed himself for his reckless behavior today, if I had known I should have calmed down a bit in the first place. Forget it, just remember it in your head a few times before doing anything in the future. Chen Yuming waved his hand generously, reminding him casually, but he didn't blame him too much, after all, what happened today happened it is understandable, but anyone who still has a little sympathy, as long as they see the scene where the scarlet-haired little girl and the blonde-haired little boy named Chiu are being tortured today, I am afraid they will not be able to help. Right? It was just that Gerald reacted a little faster than him today, and he was one step ahead of him. On the other hand, even if he reacted a little faster, he would probably do the same thing as him. But having said that, Gerald's hand skills are pretty good. At that time, he actually knocked down that little boss to the ground with one shot. Even he was shocked by a small earthquake. Thinking about it now, Chen Yuming was still slightly surprised. It's just that the only thing that makes Chen Yuming feel dissatisfied is that, by the way, don't you just fight with others as soon as you go up? Even if you are skilled, you can't directly conflict with the opponent's mage like this. What if it attracts a large-scale magic siege? In the end, I had no choice but to follow suit. Fortunately, I stopped your attempt to expand your war results in time. Otherwise, today would not be as simple as just being taught a lesson. Thinking of this, Chen Yuming looked helpless again, but he didn't want to reprimand Gerald, after all, in his eyes, the other party was just a kid who was only 12 years old, and it was purely impulsive. It's normal not to mention that his purpose is to save people, so it's even worse for him to say something about it, but a little bit of exhortation is still necessary, after what happened today, Gerald should be a little more mature. Hey, that red-haired girl over there looking at the crimson-haired little girl who was being greeted with concern by several people on the other side, Chen Yuming asked, what's your name? It is said that I was beaten so miserably today because of you, why didn't I even say thank you? It's so impolite. I had a pretty good impression of her at first, but at this time, because of the other party's impolite behavior, it dropped a little bit. Elsa. The crimson-haired little girl, oh, Elsa heard the words, looked timidly at Chen Yuming who was staring at her not far away, and explained in a flustered manner, yes. I'm sorry. I, I was only focusing on bandaging my brother's wound just now, so so I forgot to thank you, thank you so much for today's matter. Saying that, he bowed deeply to Chen Yuming he bowed to express his thanks. Forget it hearing this, Chen Yuming's complexion improved a lot. After all, he is not the kind of narrow-minded person, and the other party didn't lie. The wound torn by the magic whip is why he temporarily ignored his existence. After thinking about this joint, he will naturally not continue to show the face of the other party. After all, the other party is just a child. Also, thank you today too. Seeing that the black-haired boy on the opposite side didn't seem to be angry with him, Elsa let out another breath and smiled timidly at Gerald next to him. Apologizing, she also knew that this blue-haired boy was the first to help her today, so she was also very grateful to Gerald. Hee <laughs> hee you have nothing to thank me for. Waving his hand, Gerald had a sunny smile on his face, pouted at Chen Yuming who was not far away, and said with a smile, it's mainly thanks to brother Yuming. If if he hadn't blocked most of the magic attacks, I wouldn't be standing here talking to you. This is true. 
Although his action of attacking the little boss successfully attracted the other party's attention to him, it was Chen Yuming who mainly suffered the anti-magic attack. He had no choice but to worry about Gerald's body. I won't be able to bear it, even though I can't stand it even if I almost completely resist it, but there is some magical power in my body, and it's better to carry it by myself than Gerald who doesn't know magic at all. Yet. Yeah. Hearing this, Elsa nodded heavily, as if he was also infected by Gerald's smile. When he looked at Gerald, an unnoticed blush flashed across his face, and then his face rippled. With a pure smile, he once again cast a grateful look at Chen Yuming. In this regard, while Chen Yuming touched his nose, he could only secretly slander Gerald in his heart. He has a black belly, and he knows how to pick up girls at such a young age. It shouldn't be. But having said that, her expression now is much worse than before. Thinking of Elsa's indomitable will and unyielding stubborn expression when he faced the little boss before, Chen Yuming couldn't help sighing in his heart. Afterwards, the golden-haired boy named Chiu also expressed his sincere thanks to him, oh, and a guy named Simon also expressed his gratitude to him, secretly paying attention to the way this little devil named Simon looked at Elsa looking at it, Chen Yuming couldn't help but sighed in a rather wicked way in his heart, boy, it seems that you still have a rival in love. Tisk tisk, I have to say, the young people of today, or the young people in this different world, are really precocious. Oh, that's right. I haven't introduced myself yet. My name is Gerald. Gerald Fernandez. As for him, it is Chen Yuming. You can call him unnamed big brother just like me. Gerald introduced everyone one after another, and then said to Elsa with a smile, From now on, we are all friends. But I only heard you say your name just now, and I haven't heard of it yet. Where's your surname? If it's convenient, can you tell me your surname? Finally, he asked out his doubts. I don't have a surname. Hearing this, Elsa fell silent, and it took him a while to say such a sentence. I'm sorry. Gerald bowed his head apologetically, Yu Yu reading www.yuyuganchu. Com then said like a proposal, how about I come up with a surname for you? If you don't mind. Hey. Hearing this, Elsa couldn't help being slightly taken aback, and after thinking carefully for a while, she nodded her head slowly, her expression rarely becoming agitated, obviously acquiescing to Gerald's proposal. Since your hair is a very rare crimson, then I suggest your surname should be called Chocolito. Chocolito, which means crimson, Elsa Chocolito. J. Lal said with a smile without thinking, I like the color of your hair very much. What do you think, Brother Wuming? The last sentence was addressed to Chen Wuming, who had been watching this side with an attitude of a bystander. Sukalito, hey? Elsa Sukalito. He murmured and repeated his own name after adding his surname, and Elsa finally had a bright and beautiful smile on his face again. Nodded his head heavily. Um. Although I used to think that your kid's literary skills are not very good, but there is no doubt Chen Yuming paused for a while at this point, and then praised with a smile under the nervous gaze of everyone, Today your surname is indeed very good. Hmm. Quite good. He <laughs> he since then, Elsa's surname has been finalized in this way. From today, Elsa's full name is Elsa Shukalito. P.S. He <laughs> he, there are a lot of words in this chapter today. I deliberately skipped two lessons to code the words, but now it's finally done. Take a break first well, the protagonist's dress-up magic will start soon the Zanpakuto is summoned. Everyone may wish to guess which Zanpakuto is the protagonist's first dress-up. Hee <laughs> hee. Are you really going to do this, Xiu? Gerald said in surprise, looking at Xiu who bowed his head and said nothing. He really couldn't imagine that Xiu, who has always been relatively quiet and timid, would suddenly ask them today. To propose such a bold plan. Thinking of this, Gerald couldn't help but looked at Elsa aside, his eyes were full of inquiries, obviously asking if this was your attention. Seeing this, Elsa shook her head slightly at him, 
with a look of bewilderment on her face, obviously she didn't know why Xiu said that suddenly, after thinking for a while, Elsa immediately looked at Xiu again, he said with a serious face, is this really a decision you made after careful consideration? That's right. This is indeed the result of my careful consideration. Hearing this, Xiu immediately raised his head, looked at the sister Elsa whom he respected and loved, and roared at her in a rare way, I enough is enough. I don't want to stay in this place anymore. I must leave here. After finishing speaking, he still looked out of breath, as if the few words he just yelled had consumed a lot of his energy. General Physical Strength Hearing this, Elsa couldn't help looking at Xiu in amazement. Is this still the obedient and obedient Xiu from before? Thinking of this, Elsa felt a bit dazed. I'm sorry, Sister Elsa after taking a few breaths, she seemed to realize that her tone of voice was impolite. Immediately, he lowered his head again, and said softly in a voice full of apology, I, I just. However, although Xiu's tone of voice seemed to have softened a lot, and it was no longer the rigid and forceful tone before, everyone could still hear a sense of determination and determination from his tone. It's okay, Xiu. With a slight smile, he touched Xiu's drooping little head, and Elsa said softly, I can understand your feelings. This is Xiu's true nature, this is the Xiu I am familiar with. It seems that he has indeed been suppressed for too long. Haha, <laughs> maybe including myself, and all of us probably think the same way. Thinking of this, Elsa shook his head slightly, and a look of hope flashed in his eyes. That is, the desire for freedom. Brother Wuming, what do you think? Seeing that although Elsa didn't speak, the expression on his face showed that he was obviously moved by Xiu's proposal, so Gerald turned his attention to the one who had listened to Xiu's proposal from the beginning. Chen Wuming, who had been silent about the proposal until now, asked seriously. Seeing this, Elsa, Xiu, Wally, Simon and Meliana all looked at Chen Wuming. After all, he is the most mature, stable and prestigious one among them. Naturally, they wanted to ask for his opinion on such a big matter as escaping from the Tower of Paradise. Thinking of this, the eyes of everyone looking at Chen Wuming, without exception, were full of longing, as if they wanted to get a definite answer from him. Get the answer they fear most, but also desire most. Hee <laughs> hee, since you have already made up your mind. Why are you asking for my opinion? The eyes swept over everyone, especially their eyes, when they saw the longing in everyone's eyes with a resolute expression, Chen Wuming smiled wryly, shook his head slightly, and sighed helplessly, then let's decide like this. As soon as the words fell, everyone who had been waiting for a long time was relieved, and they all gave out enthusiastic cheers. Although now is not the best time, although it is also not the most appropriate time, maybe the success rate of this plan is not even half, but so what? For freedom, even if there is only one chance of success it's worth my all for it. Thinking of this, a frightening light suddenly flashed in Chen Wuming's eyes. Even if this is a gamble that wins and loses, I am willing to gamble as much as I want. Are those big and small gambles in life still small? So what if I gamble with everything I have? What's more, everything is for freedom. More than a month has passed since that day when I arrived at Elsa and the others and helped Elsa choose a good surname. During this month, Chen Wuming and the others were still the same as usual, every morning early in the morning. The evil wizards are forced to work, and they are used as living sacrifices to squeeze their free labor almost endlessly every day, and they will be beaten by those guys from time to time. Although now, including Chen Wuming, everyone has basically adapted to this extremely difficult life, but it doesn't mean that they will like it. This kind of monotonous, boring and extremely hard labor life makes everyone feel very painful and exhausted physically and mentally, especially when it is still far away and does not give people a glimmer of hope, it is even more painful. It is said that this kind of hellish life has been passed for a long time, no one can stand it. Whether it is physical or psychological, it will bring suffocating pressure to people. 
especially under the double pressure of suffocating pressure and desperately squeezing, it will drive people crazy. No one can stand this hopeless environment except those who rule the Tower of Paradise the unknown gang of evil wizards. No matter how strong a person's mental quality is, if they stay here for a long time, their spirits will be on the verge of collapse. But today, that little golden-haired kid named Chiu suddenly proposed to escape from this damned place. Chen Yuming was not at all surprised by this, because he had already guessed that this would happen, after all, if he chose to escape although the hope is extremely small, it is better than no hope at all. And it's so much better. People who have never tried true despair will not understand the meaning of this hope, and they will also not be able to empathize with the glimmer of hope that this kind of misty hope brings to people in a desperate situation, to give a simple example, without trying people who are really hungry will not understand the meaning of a drop of water, but when you suddenly find that there is no longer a little water source in this world, you will probably be able to understand it more or less. If the situation lasts for a long time and you happen not to die of thirst, at that time, you will understand the meaning of a drop of water, how precious a drop of water is, because its existence at least gives a glimmer of hope that didn't exist for you. And Chen Yuming and the others now have such a feeling. Chen Yuming clearly knows that even if Xiu doesn't come up with the escape plan today, it won't be long before someone else will come up with this plan. But Simon, Wally, it might be Miriamna, Elsa, Gerald or even himself Chen Yuming. Or some other unfamiliar ones are also possible. In short, for this ray of dawn, even though they know that it may be just a mirage, there will still be countless people who are eager to catch this last ray of hope. It was night, it was already completely dark, nonsense, and on the entire small island, except for some necessary guards on duty, the vast majority of people had already fallen into a deep sleep. Undoubtedly, it also provided relatively good escape conditions for Chen Yuming and the others who were about to escape here. In a dark corner, a few young figures were observing something. Seeing that the surroundings were quiet and there was nothing special, one of them waved his hand back quietly, indicating that there was no guard here. And everything works fine. Sister. This way, come here. In front of a small pothole about half a person's height, Xiu bowed his body and urged Elsa behind him eagerly, with unconcealable excitement in his tone. Hush. Please lower your voice, Xiu. Hearing this, Wally was taken aback immediately, and hurriedly made a silent gesture to Xiu with an excited face, and muttered dissatisfiedly, What if you are caught? What do people do if they hear and find out, you idiot? After speaking, he still gave Xiu a hard look. Please hearing this, before Xiu could say anything, Miliana on the side first said dissatisfiedly, Wally, your voice is louder, okay meow. After finishing speaking, she rolled her cute eyes at him. Uh, he 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 he. Wally scratched his head in embarrassment. Elsa, if you don't hurry up, if you get caught by those guys, it will be. Frowning, Simon urged with a little worry. I know, I know what will happen to those who are caught. Unexpectedly, at this critical moment, Elsa was more nervous than anyone else, clutching her old clothes tightly, Elsa was a little trembling said in a trembling voice, while speaking. Her body couldn't help trembling slightly, obviously she was extremely scared in her heart. Hey! Let me say! Simon was trying to persuade something. Chen Yuming, who had just returned from checking the safety of other places, spoke first when he saw this, frowning and looking at Elsa who seemed to be getting cold feet and lost the chain halfway, he waved his hand and said impatiently, What's the use of being afraid now? We've already reached this point. Don't you want to go back? Well, if you really want to stay in this ghostly place for the rest of your life if so, then I won't stop you, you go back. It's not that he deliberately bullied Elsa, what a joke. After all, his soul is also a serious adult. How could it be possible to care too much about a brat? Besides, in his opinion, it is not surprising that Yu Yu reading www.yuyugonshu.com Elsa is so nervous that she is afraid now. 
who would not be nervous and afraid in this situation? Even he himself can't guarantee that he doesn't have any nervousness or fear in his heart now. It's just because his Zingxing maturity far surpasses everyone present, and he deliberately suppressed a series of negative emotions such as tension and fear in his heart, so everyone can't see it at all. Of course, he also don't let them see it. Because the current Chen Yuming is the spiritual pillar in the hearts of everyone present. So it is within his understanding that Elsa would be so nervous and afraid, and the reason why he said this specifically is purely because he wanted to use it to inspire the other party's courage. Don't be afraid, Elsa. Gerald can see what Chen Yuming said, and he can understand it, because they are still in danger at this moment, so the fear in Elsa's heart must be eliminated as soon as possible. Thinking of this, Gerald smiled and comforted Elsa, because we want freedom, dreams, and the future. Obviously, he had the same idea as Chen Yuming. He deliberately played a tough attitude, which is undoubtedly more gentle and easier to accept. Hmm. Hearing this, Elsa really didn't hesitate anymore, nodded heavily to Gerald and then cast a grateful look at Chen Yuming. Obviously, she has now understood Chen Yuming's the real intention of saying that. Let's go. Chen Yuming said lightly, and then took the lead to drill into the small hole in front of him. Behind him, Gerald, Elsa and others followed closely. In this way, under the leadership of Chen Yuming, the people passed through one area after another, avoiding guards one after another, just as they finally arrived at the outskirts of the Tower of Paradise thinking that they and others were about to escape. At this time, a sudden playful voice made them feel as if they had fallen into an ice cave in vain. Pa 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 clapping your palms, a skinny figure suddenly appeared on the road in front of everyone, and jokingly said, when you think you are about to achieve success but suddenly fall into hell. How do you feel? Do you feel very hopeless ha 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 as he spoke, he turned his head up abnormally and laughed strangely, as if enjoying the despairing eyes of everyone. Humph! What a bunch of stinky brats who don't know how to live or die. An extremely fat figure appeared beside the thin man, looking at the crowd who wanted to escape here, the fat man said disdainfully, I really thought is your plan perfect? Do you really think we don't know at all? He he he, if you really think so, then you are completely wrong. We already knew when you were preparing to escape. The reason why you were not directly picked out is purely because we want to see how you want to escape. Ah ha 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 ha, pain. Regret. Despair. Let me enjoy your helpless expressions again. Ha 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 both the skinny mage and the fat mage burst out laughing. Damn Chen Yuming's face was extremely gloomy. Although he knew that he might be caught this time, when all this really happened to him, he couldn't help feeling a little desperate. He had guessed this possible outcome, but he still had a little bit of luck in his heart before, thinking that maybe I could really escape? I think it's not only him, but maybe all the people who want to escape think so in their hearts, right? After all, people will have a fluke mentality. But judging from the words of this fat and thin wizard, it seems that no matter how I and others plan an escape, they will eventually be caught by them. And the reason why they didn't show up before was that they suddenly popped up when they were about to succeed. Presumably it was because they were idle and bored that they wanted to play us, right? That's right. It's just playing with yourself and others like a cat playing with a mouse. This feeling is like being ruthlessly pinched by someone at the moment when one's heart is about to relax completely. There is a trace of despair revealed in the helplessness. Humph. If it weren't for the fact that the construction of the R system is at a critical juncture, I would have sent all of you to that room long ago. The fat mage said with a cold snort. However, in order not to delay the construction period, today I will show mercy once in a while. The skinny wizard said with a wicked smile, speak. As long as you reveal who the mastermind of this escape plan is, I will let you go. Others, just take that one away. He 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 he, don't you think we are very kind? You should be honored for this. Hearing this, Xiu was so frightened that his whole body trembled violently. No one else, 
because it was Taxia who proposed the escape plan for the first time. Okay. Don't waste our time, tell me who the mastermind is. Seeing that everyone was silent, the fat mage was impatient at first, and hit the magic wand in his hand hard. There was a heavy bang sound on the ground. Being so frightened by the fat mage, Xiu immediately didn't dare to say anything, but buried his head deeply in his arms, not daring to look at other people. Seeing this, everyone immediately knew what was going on. It turned out that Xiu was terrified and flinched in his heart, but this is also very understandable. After all, Xiu is the youngest among all the people except Meliana. Al I thought to myself that going on like this was not an option, and if I even angered the two fat and thin wizards in front of me, everyone might be in danger. Thinking of this, Elsa gritted her teeth, raised her head, and said resolutely, I it's me. It's me before Elsa could speak, he was interrupted by two tough voices that sounded at the same time. Hearing this, Elsa looked up in surprise, and immediately froze on the spot, because the two voices that sounded at the same time the voice came from the mouths of two people, Chen Yuming and Gerald. Not only her, it can be said that Wally, Simon, Miliana and the fat and thin wizard present at the scene, and even the masters who said these two sentences Chen Yuming and Gerald, the two masters, were also stunned. Up. Chen Yuming and Gerald looked at each other in astonishment, obviously they did not expect such a result. It's not him. I am the mastermind and commander of the escape plan this time. However, Chen Yuming reacted faster, and Dang even said loudly, taking all the responsibility on himself. As he said that, he still did not forget to stare at Gerald, signaling him to stop talking. Seeing this, Gerald, whose reaction was a little slow to the point that Chen Yuming had preempted him, wanted to say something else. But after being stared at by the other party, he had to open his mouth slightly, but he didn't say a word after all, because he knew that it was useless to say anything now, because the nameless brother had already decided to sacrifice himself to protect others, if he continues to interrupt, it will not only destroy the plan of the unknown brother, but also bring other people into danger. Therefore, he has no choice but to remain silent. However, sometimes, no matter how hard a person's abacus is, there will always be such and such uncertain factors, which will completely destroy all the original plans of the person. Oh? So that's how it is. The fat mage nodded his fat head as if suddenly realizing it. Just when Chen Yuming was about to heave a sigh of relief and thought that his plan had succeeded, the fat mage suddenly pointed Elsa, who was among the crowd, laughed and said, but it doesn't seem to be you. It should be this girl. Ha 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 ha, there are actually two people who want to take the blame for you. It seems that your she has a lot of charm, come here. Take her away. At the end, her tone changed in vain, becoming lingering and tough. What? Hearing this, everyone was taken aback for a moment, never expecting that the fat mage would say that suddenly. It completely caught everyone off guard. No. No. I should be the one who planned this matter. Didn't you see that I am the boss of everyone? You fat pig. However, Chen Yuming reacted quickly, pointing at the fat magician the soldier burst into curses. The purpose is to irritate the other party so that the other party believes that he is the mastermind behind the scenes and not Elsa. In fact, the reason why Chen Yuming decided to do this was also very helpless in his heart, but he had to do it this way, because he couldn't really let this little boy Xiu exchange his own safety for the safety of him and the rest of them. Are you safe? At any rate, he is an adult in terms of the age of his soul and he can't bear to let a child take on all these responsibilities due to emotion and reason. By the way, this is a bit of a trademark loss. Especially when he saw that Elsa seemed to intend to take the responsibility for Xiu, he was even more taken aback. Well, letting a child bear all the responsibilities is already enough to lose points. Now, if a girl, a girl who hasn't grown up, preempts the crime, as a pure man, then I will also damn you don't have to live. Where should we put our old face? 
Thinking of this, Chen Yuming, who was a typical male chauvinist, took all the responsibility of Xiu on himself before Elsa. In his words, your grandpa's fight. Of course, the fact that Gerald was also thinking of making a scapegoat was something he never thought of at first. But now what Chen Yuming is most angry about is the IQ of this fat mage. I said it's fine if you have a low IQ, but why the are you pretending to be smart? It's obvious that stupid donkeys can fight. Why does Kanima insist on pretending to be smart? I really think that I am an unprecedented Ukrainian pig. Chen Yuming gritted his teeth and thought, obviously, the sudden arrival of the fat mage disrupted all his plans. The boy is looking for death. Hearing this, the fat mage immediately flew into a rage. Picking up the magic wand in his hand, he gave Chen Yuming a lightning spell. The opponent fell to the ground. Okay, let's go. For this guy who dared to plot and encourage others to escape, we should take good care of her. The thin wizard waved his hand, smiled, and said the pronunciation of the word take care was bitten very hard, and after finishing speaking, he turned and left. Seeing this, the fat mage snorted coldly and then walked away. During the period, Gerald and Simon wanted to go up and say something, but they were naturally given by the fat mage who was still in anger. Magic has served him hard. After that, the other guards escorted the rest of the people back to the dilapidated residence and locked them up. But this does not mean that the two are ready to sit still. Looking at each other, they both saw a determination in each other's eyes. The two tacitly knocked out all the guards guarding the residence, and then quickly ran to the so-called room where Elsa was held, which made everyone fearful. In order to save time as soon as possible, the two guards encountered on the way did not hide, but directly knocked them all down to the ground. After all, now is an extraordinary time when every second counts. The longer Elsa stays in that place, the more likely he will be in danger. If something happened to Elsa if he went a little late, the two of them would regret it. When they came to the room where Elsa was captured, Chen Yuming and Gerald rushed up without saying a word. All the guards guarding the door of the room were knocked to the ground in an instant. Crackling Chen Yuming let the wind outside, and Gerald just pushed the door and entered. Elsa a voice of shock and anger suddenly came from the room, it was Gerald's voice. Hearing this, Chen Yuming who thought Gerald was in trouble, didn't care about anything else, Yu Yu reading www.yuyuganshu.com directly opened the door hastily and ran in quickly. What's wrong, Gerald? With a sweep of his eyes, Chen Yuming hurriedly walked forward when he saw Gerald sitting on the ground kneeling on the ground half supporting Elsa in the center of the room, while asking suspiciously asked, is there something wrong before he finished speaking? Chen Yuming was suddenly stunned, and looked straight at Elsa, or rather, at Elsa's right eye Elsa. You, your eyes the astonished Chen Yuming immediately rushed forward, staring at Elsa's right eye, and asked in a trembling voice, could it be, could it be that your right eye has? Speaking of this, the words suddenly stopped, and Chen Yuming looked at Gerald who was supporting Elsa, meaning to ask what is going on? Facing the questioning gaze of the unknown elder brother, Gerald nodded his head sadly. Damn he slammed his fist the ground, even though he was bleeding from the fist, he didn't know it. It can be seen how angry Chen Yuming was in his heart at this moment. Don't worry, I will definitely help you avenge Elsa. Chen Yuming said to the weak Elsa in a deep voice, his tone was extremely gloomy. Obviously, the anger in his heart has reached a peak. Right now, the only thing we can do is Gerald stood up again, looking at Elsa and Chen Yuming seriously. Fighting. Carrying Elsa on his back, Chen Yuming continued the next sentence with a gloomy expression. After finishing speaking, he carried Elsa and Gerald on his back and strode outside. The eyes of the two were extremely determined and angry.